Who am I? Where am I? What is this? What does it all mean? I'm not actually having an existential crisis. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Farnham, this is Ramblings with Rebecca, and today we're going to talk about the social creation of meaning. It's going to be very intense and very deep and very intellectual. We're going to use a rubbish bin as an example. Very highbrow scholarship going on right now. Uh, yes, so today, social constructivism and also social constructionism, because they are two different subset theories of constructivist epistemology. <clears throat> two lovely highfalutin words. Epistemology is a highfalutin word that actually is highfalutin. Uh, it refers to the theory of knowledge. Okay, so it's what is truth? How do we know? who gets to claim and define what truth is? Is there some big truth with a capital T out there somewhere completely independent of humans? Or is truth only what we define it to be? So everyone has like their own little truth with a little T and my truth can't be any more factual than yours. That kind of thing. Okay, so that's epistemology. Yeah, it's, ex it's existential crisis kind of stuff. It's what is the meaning of meaning and truth and knowledge. Constructivist epistemology uh, it posits that knowledge and truth and fact are created by society um, and by people. So meaning is only meaning because we give it meaning. Yeah, I know. Sorry, try and figure that one out. Uh, but in social constructivism and social constructionism now, we're dealing with how the world around us so objects and ourselves and categories and those kind of things are really only categories and things and such because we say that they are as a group of people, right? So social constructionism deals mostly with the objects, the things themselves. This is a rubbish bin, right? Of course, pretty much everyone knows. Obviously this is a rubbish bin. But social constructionism would ask, is this actually a rubbish bin unless I say that it's a rubbish bin, right? If this rubbish bin were sitting alone on a planet with no humans saying that it's a rubbish bin, what the heck is it? Okay, to Yorith, the two and a half year old, this is sometimes a rubbish bin. More often, it is a drum, preferably pounded on with chopsticks. Uh, alternately, it's also a soup pot. I cannot tell you how many times I have been forced to drink soup out of this very large soup pot. It's very filling soup. Generally, this soup is made by stirring it and putting in some pepper. Soup pot, drum, rubbish bin, thing in which we insert our two-year-old body and roll down the hallway. See, Yorith has not yet been fully indoctrinated, if you will. Uh, not to use too strong a word. In social constructivism, that is individual learning around the meanings and perceptions that society gives us, right? So Yorath, as a two-year-old, hasn't f fully learned or, you know, bought into that this is a rubbish bin and that's all it is. Now I haven't either. This is often actually used as a seat because it's the right height, so when I'm not using it as a prop, I sit on it um, to do these things. But for the most part, you, you know, I'm going to look at that and say, yeah, yes, it's a rubbish bin. My trash goes in there. Right, because we've given it that function and that identity. And we do this with people, too. And with groups of people and with categories and with everything else in the world around us. All right, so social constructivism looks at how individuals learn in society. And, of course, there's a feedback loop here, right? Because society is made of humans, so we you know, push back and tweak and create, right? But generally speaking, there's kind of this group mentality going on that is giving things around us meaning. Uh, so uh, very commonly in my work, gender is seen as a social construction. Uh, so something that doesn't actually have meaning except that which society gives it, right? So going back several episodes to the sex and gender, what I'm supposed to do because I am a female is highly dependent on the group of people that I'm with and the society that I'm in. So those gender roles are social constructions rather than something that exists outside of humanity that just always is. 